Hello everyone, welcome to Headlines of the Day. This is 15th of June 2022 and we are back again with some of the major articles from the Hindu. Let's begin our discussion from the very first page from GS3 Economy section. There's an article. The article is headlined as 10 lakh persons to get government jobs in 18 months announces Modi. So the recruitment is likely to focus on vacancies in railways, armed forces and GST department. So the government has come up with a good news. Now from this article, you have to know about the recent announcement of the Prime Minister to recruit 10 lakh personnel within next 18 months. Why is it needed and expected outcomes of this move? Moving on, on page number 6 from GS2 International Relations, there are two articles about the Ukraine-Russia war. First article is headlined as the C factor in the Ukraine-Russia war and another article end of war. Russia has the primary responsibility to push for a peaceful settlement with Ukraine. From these articles, you have to consider about the background and present status of Ukraine-Russia conflict, analyze the Russia's response, West strategy, how cyberspace had become critical to military operations on land, sea, air and space, instances linked to it, issues, key analysis and what is the possible way forward. Moving on on page number 6 from GS2 Polity and Governance, there's an article about malnutrition. So the article is headlined as Malnutrition in India is a worry in modern scenario. From this article, you can get major high points like marginal improvement, stunting, wasting, anemia and step up the financing. So from this article, you have to know about the malnutrition in India, causes and impacts, India's progress in tackling malnutrition, the current status of implementing various schemes, concerns and what steps need to be taken to address these challenges that are related to malnutrition. Moving further on page number 7 from GS2 Governance Sector, there's an article about end of child marriage. So the article says that a legalized approach might become counterproductive if women's schooling or skills are not enhanced. So from this article, you have to know why child marriage is rampant in India. Will the increasing age of marriage of women solve this issue? Data from recently released National Family Health Survey 5, 2019 to 2021. The data of several empirical studies from South Asia. What matters more, the age of marriage or the factors that facilitate child marriage, the key analysis and what is the possible scenario ahead. Moving further on page number 8 from GS3 technology sector, there's an article about the Google chatbot. So the article says that, can the new Google chatbot be sentient? Now here we are talking about sentient, that means able to perceive or see things. So clearly in this article we are discussing about artificial intelligence. So from this article you have to know is there a possibility of future artificial intelligence technologies becoming conscious? Which were the first chatbots to be devised? What is neutral network? What is Lambda? How is Lambda different from chatbots? How intelligent are the AIs? Is technology dangerous? So moving on, on page number 8 from GS2 Governance Sector, another article that is about the Reuters magazine. So the article is headlined as a closer look at the Reuters Institute Digital News Report 2022. From this article, you have to know what does the report say on news consumption patterns? Why are people increasingly losing trust in news media platforms? What does the report say about trends in India? Moving further on page number 10 from GS3 Defence Sector, there's an article about the Agnipat scheme. So Centre clears Agnipat scheme. Now, Agni Veers can apply for regular employment after four years and may get priority. From this article, you have to know what is the Agnipat scheme, its features and objectives. Moving further on page number 11 from GS3 Economy section, there's an article that is headlined as Unemployment has decreased, says the latest labor force survey. So the data shows that rate of joblessness fell to 4.2% in, in 2020-21 compared to 4.8% earlier. From this article, you have to understand what are the key findings of the, of the Periodic Labour Force Survey for 2020-21 released by the Ministry of Statistics and Programme Implementation. Well, with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Headlines of the Day, The Hindu. I hope you liked the video. We'll see you with more such videos. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.